Welcome to Digital Asset News, where we take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down into bite-sized pieces. Before we get started, let's do a little housekeeping. First of all, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial planner, a financial analyst, a financial platypus. I have nothing to do with the financial industry. I'm just a small business owner who has a very keen interest in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. Second of all, if you could help us out, that'd be great. Only thing that we require or ask you to do is to hit that like button or leave a comment on this video. It could be anything about the video itself. Just make sure it's relevant to this video. You can say it's awesome or it sucks, doesn't matter. Whatever your opinion is, we'd love to hear it. Just put it in the comment section below. And lastly, if you could subscribe, that'd be a huge help to us. Now, you don't have to do all three of those things, but one of those things we request you to do because it helps other channel tremendously and it helps our channel to grow into the future. So today, what do we have going on? First of all, Bitcoin's dead. Bitcoin's dead. I got 99 problems, but a Bitcoin ain't one. But apparently, 99 Bitcoins has a nice little obituary that talks about not only that Bitcoin's dead, but how many times it's died over the last nine years. Secondly, my man Justin Sun. Not that I'm a Tron fan, but I am a Justin Sun fan because of his marketing. Justin Sun just gave a million dollars to the Time Person of the Year, Greta Thunberg. And it's an interesting story and I really want to get into this one. It makes me laugh. And lastly, we're going to take a look at Cardano being named one of the most undervalued cryptocurrencies by Weiss Crypto Ratings. And, but there's some nuances in it, not just about how technologically advanced it is, but where it's going in the future and what Weiss Ratings says about this and EOS. So let's dig into it. First up, I had heard about this over the years of watching different YouTube videos. Um, and they talk about how Bitcoin's dying and there's a Bitcoin obituary. And I never got a chance to take a look at it until today. And the reason I chose today is because the market is crashing yet again. Uh, it seems to be one of, those, one of those episodes. Apparently, one year ago to this day was one of the lowest times of the cryptocurrency market. And it seems to have repeated. Now, there, there are no coincidences. There is a reason for everything. Who knows what it is? I have no idea myself. I have theories. But they're just theories, who knows. But I wanna take a look at this and talk about how over the years, Bitcoin has been declared dead multiple times. So the most recent death, this was on November 21st. I don't think that's true. I mean, there's a lot more articles out there. I think there's so many articles about how Bitcoin's dying. It's hard for 99 Bitcoins to actually keep up. But this is what they said is the most recent. Then they go to 2010, which is the oldest death. But what's amazing to me is that you can go down here and look at deaths by year, and you can just see that <clears throat> as things have progressed in the cryptocurrency digital asset market, first of all, Bitcoin was created in 2009. So in 2010, they stated it was dead. In 2011, six articles, 2012, 13, 14, 15. And can you see like just how people negatively pile on and they have their opinions, whether they be right or wrong, but uh, they are pretty negative. And you can see this was one of the happenings, uh, 2013, and then 2016, of course it was dead again, but the biggest push, look at these, you know, 17, 20, 39, 28, not a big deal, but in 2017, and we all know what happened then, that beautiful parabolic bull market where everything went up to the sky, oh, it was sweet, it was so nice, I was a part of it, it was fantastic, nothing could ever go down. And of course, at that time, these naysayers said, it's gonna die. And, uh, you know, for 2018, 2019, looks like they were pretty much headed in the right direction. Not that, not that it's going to die, but it did go down and everybody loves to be right. So for right now, I will give these people their due and say, yes, you were correct. It did definitely go down. However, it's not dead. And we're going to see in the next year or two years after this happening on May 2020 and a year afterwards, just how undead Bitcoin actually is. So I'm going to link this in the description below so you can take a look at it. It's pretty funny stuff. Some of the people that some of these people just um, they have these these opinions and they write about things and you're like, what the hell are they talking about? This makes no sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, it makes I mean, it kind of makes sense because Anything that's new, people are either scared of it, don't understand it, or just shun it. So I could understand to see why a lot of people 
did actually say this. So we'll see. My question to you is, do you think Bitcoin's going to die? And if you do think it's going to die, what cryptocurrency is going to take its place? Is it going to be Ethereum? Is it going to be IoT chain? Is it going to be Ravencoin? Is it going to be see Electronium or Digibyte or something crazy? Who knows? Whatever you think it is, go ahead and put it in the comment below. I'm curious because everybody's got their favorite coin. Everybody's got their money on some horse, and I want to hear what your horse is. Moving on. Oh, this is going to be a sweet article. Justin Sun. I got to tell you, this guy, this effing guy, I'll give it to him. I will give it to him. I, I own a couple of businesses and I have to do the marketing. And as time has gone on, we've gone from, you know, word of mouth and flyers and all that stuff to digital marketing, which is our, you know, our YouTube channels and our Facebook. And now we're getting into TikTok. And I got to tell you, Justin Sun, as far as a marketer goes, is great. He's a, I'm not going to say he is on par with Peter Schiff as a marketer. And uh, Peter Schiff, you don't know, he's a big gold bug and instills fear everywhere. And the sky is falling and all the nations of the world are going to corrupt, are going to fall down and crash unless you buy gold, which because he's a gold bug. But um, yeah, Justin Sun, great marketer. His product, I think, is, is crap, but that's just me. Uh, if, you got a, your different, if you have a different opinion, go ahead and put it in the in the comments below. Love to hear about how you think Tron's awesome. Anyhow, so Tron founder Justin Sun took Twitter by surprise when he announced his intention to donate $1 million to popular climate change activist Greta Thunberg in support of her cause. Now, if you guys don't know who Greta Thunberg is, she's getting a lot of press right now. Uh, she's the climate act activist uh, from, I want to say, Sweden, Iceland, Greenland, one of those places. But, uh, I mean, I think she's a pretty remarkable young girl. I mean, she goes, she goes all over the world. She preaches about climate change. Um, and, I mean, how many, I mean, I can tell you what I was doing in 16 wasn't anything near that. So I will give it up to her. Whether you believe in climate change or not, I personally do. I think that this is just a natural thing. We're in a globe. I don't want to get into it, but I, I, I believe it is. A lot of people don't, but whatever. So Greta Thunberg... She's on the cover of Time, and of course that really, <laughs> really ruffled a few feathers, uh, especially here in the States. A lot of people in the States don't believe in climate change, and they believe that uh, she's being propped up by some other type of organization or some other bullshit that they say. Anyhow, uh, Justin Sun says... <clears throat> He's going to give her a million dollars, and this is what he wrote on Twitter. He says, as a young entrepreneur, I share at Greta Thunberg's passion to change the world. Crypto will contribute immensely on reducing carbon footprint by implementing the decentralized settlement. I would like to personally commit $1 million to at Greta Thunberg's initiative to climate change, I suppose. So the reaction to Sun's tweet have been critical, and the reason why is because this guy has nothing to do with climate change. He doesn't have anything to do with saving the planet. He's not an eco-friendly... I mean, he's not someone who would go out of his way to do these types of things. However, like I said, he's a marketer. And he knows that she was on time as the person of the year. So if he gets behind her and gives her a million dollars, that is great advertising for him. Look, you could spend a million dollars on anywhere you want to. Um, you could put it on and do digital marketing, you could put it in magazines, you could uh, pay influencers, or you could just do what Justin Sun did here, which is I think a brilliant move. He said, I'm gonna give you a million bucks and hopefully you know, you probably talk about my organization, maybe get into the public consciousness of cryptocurrency, especially Tron. It was a great move. It was a great move as far as a marketer goes and people will be talking about it. And that's the only thing that matters in marketing get people to talk about your product. Look, um, the days of just some fantastic thing taking off are, you know, with, with no word of mouth is, is pretty difficult. I mean, Bitcoin did it. Uh, but as time goes on with new cryptocurrency markets emerging in different projects, you need to get yourself out there. And Tron is doing that. Or Justin Sun's doing that. Now, do I think Tron is good? No. 
Do I think Tron has a place in cryptocurrency market? Maybe. I have no idea. I used to invest in it because uh, I was investing in everything back in the day, but I do not do that now. My holdings, and you can see my holdings right here. <clears throat> I've got uh, Bitcoin, um, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, EOS, and Chainlink. These are the ones that I think are gonna. I'm gonna put my my. I'm gonna bet my money on. Um, I could be wrong, um, but I will tell you this: Tron, not a big thing. Not not anything that I would invest in. That's for sure. So, but moving forward in this article, it's it talks about. <laughs> this is pretty funny. The interesting factor is Sun's idea that crypto will contribute. Uh, no, let me read. Let me reread this. Another interesting factor to consider is Sun's idea that crypto will contribute to carbon footprint reduction. Cryptocurrency mining, in most cases, is very energy consuming, a factor commonly used by crypto critics as to why digital assets should be avoided. You know what this is like? There was a there was this golfer named John Daly. He was one of my faves. Big chubby guy. And he would get out there and he would just crush that ball uh, in uh, the PGA. And he was a good golfer. But man, he was fat. And uh, he was... One day, he he had two sponsors. One was by Trim Spa, and the other one was by Dunkin' Donuts. And he, and he wore them on the same shirt or his bag. I forgot which one it was, but it was hilarious. Because you have something that you're like, I believe in this, and this is what I'm promoting. But on the back end, you're like, yeah, but I do this other thing. So Justin Sun's like, yeah, I believe in climate change, and I want Greta Thunberg to, to, to really fight fight the good cause. However... I am in cryptocurrency, and we use mining, and we use a hell of a lot of electricity, and that could be electricity from any, it could be renewable sources, or it could be coal, dirty coal, or whatever else that we, we have. But we burn a lot of energy, but we do like um, <laughs> saving the planet. Makes no sense. However, Justin Sun is Justin Sun. Moving on, last article. Cardano, named one of the most undervalued cryptocurrencies by Weiss Crypto Ratings. I used to look into crypto, the crypto ratings by, by Weiss. Um, I know they're very prominent in this space, but what they said was pretty interesting, and it's something that I, I've seen a lot with Cardano. Um, but let's get in the article. Cardano named one of the most undervalued cryptocurrencies, and this is what they say. They state, I like this, Cardano is easily one of the most deeply undervalued assets in the market. Its price does not reflect its fundamentals. Moving forward, it talks about back in November, Wise concluded that Cardano was vastly superior to EOS. The latter fell out of the agency's good graces due to centralized governance model. Weiss also praised Cardano for thoroughly researching and testing new features before they got rolled out. So the problem with EOS, and yes, I am an investor. I put my money into EOS, 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 whatever you want to call it. The problem with EOS is they're saying that's not fully decentralized because it only has 21 nodes. And that's true. So with Bitcoin, you can have thousands of nodes throughout the entire world, right? But with EOS, things are looking a little bit shaky because if you only have 21 nodes, how easy is that to, not to hack, but to become corruptible? The less nodes or the less decentralized you are, the more chances you have for somebody getting to that area or to those people or to that group and start to corrupt. That's what's so great about decentral or being decentralized as far as a cryptocurrency. If you have thousands of computers, no one knows who the hell those people are. So they can verify transactions. They can keep all these things in their digital ledger. And the chances of this breaking down are none and you can't hack it so that is a great thing about bitcoin now with eos 21 nodes that's a problem maybe i will start to look at this a bit longer the reason why i believe in eos is because i got in early i thought it was a good project um i like dan larimer and how he did things steam b tube all those types of stuff i was a genius right however as much as i like it the decentralization thing doesn't really sit well, and we'll see. We'll see what happens moving forward. However, right now, I'll still stick with it. But moving on with Weiss, Weiss Crypto Reading states, here's why Cardano is superior. None of these things would have happened if EOS took its time and did its research. When new features roll on Cardano, 
They're thoroughly tested so you can be sure they'll work with no unintended consequences. Research is king of crypto and very few are doing it. And I'll tell you who does do it. And that's effing Cardano. Those guys, Charles Hoskinson, he, oh my God, he, he's slow. He's slow and steady and he's like, nope, we're going to take our sweet ass time and we're not going to roll anything out. And that's why you've heard about Cardano for the longest time. Do you know that Shelly is just a test net? It's not their main net. They're just testing things out still, but they're doing a great job. You haven't heard of any, any kind of breakdowns. You haven't heard of different problems with the test net so far. I mean, things are going pretty well because they took the time to do so much testing. It concerns me though. I will tell you in business, um, sometimes you have to trip a little bit to get running. Meaning that if you are too cautious sometimes, you, don't, you aren't able to get the plane off the ground. So maybe this will work for Charles. It, it, it's just, it hasn't worked for me in my business. Of course, I'm not a billionaire. Um, but in my businesses, it, it really has paid to take chances and go out there and fail forward. Cardano does not believe in that. They want to be super um, regimented and have everything together. So uh, we will see. I'm a big fan of it. I think that it can do a lot of great things because of the people behind it, because of the things that it does. And it can do a lot of different things, smart contracts being one of those. And that's why I'm a big believer. And besides, like how much is it? Like six cents, seven cents? I don't even know how much it is even more. It's super cheap. All right. But moving forward in this article, it talks about ADA or Cardano received a B plus for technology and adoption, while its risk reward mark is only E plus. I guess E is like an F. According to Weiss, the product technology is excellent, but its price performance is very weak. Well, yeah, no kidding. So technology adoption is good. I mean, they're in the top ten. Um, their grades a B plus, but as far as like what it says here, risk, momentum, and market performance, yeah, it's it sucked. It just hasn't taken off as much as we would like to now. With that new test net that just launched uh, two or three days ago, things might change. And I am looking to stake my entire bulk of Cardano. So if you're not familiar with it, Shelly, the test net went live. Um, you can go to staking.cardano.org. I'm going to leave that in the description below. But what's cool is that you can delegate your stake. You know, essentially, you can just every Cardano that you own, you can just stake it and it helps the uh, test net to become stronger. Everything stays within that test net, so things work out a little bit easier. Um, you can run a stake pool. I have no idea what the hell that is. I'll just be honest with you, but uh, if you want to do that, read up on that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a techie guy. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna pretend to tell you that I am. And then the next part right down here is what we're gonna look at real quick, rewards calculator. So let's say, oh, I don't know. Select a calculator. I want to delegate my stake. Sure. Let's say that I had, eh, we'll say 200,000. We'll say of Cardano, right? So if I did have that, I'm not saying that I do, but this is how much I would make. I would make per day $1.30. It's not bad. Try getting that at the effing banks. Fucking never get that. Monthly, I got 40 bucks. And in one year, I'll make $474. Hey, I like that. That's not too bad. So if I want to do this, which I will definitely be staking all of my Cardano, I can make money off this right now. Why wouldn't I do this? It seems uh, seems goofy. Now, there may be risks. I don't know exactly if uh, how much those are of course the test net i mean everything could be lost right we're in cryptocurrency this is a highly speculative market but if you guys see risks if you guys see problems with this put it in the comments below I'm curious to, see, to hear what you want to say about cardano if it'll make it if you're going to do this and what potential problems you can see moving forward anyhow that's it for today's video sorry i went a little long there was a little bit of rants there especially with the justin Justin's son one. God damn, that was funny. Um, but thanks again for uh, listening to the video. And I will, uh, if you guys could do me one favor, help us out with the YouTube algorithm. That'd be great. Either like the video, uh, comment below, like I've been begging, and, uh, or, and or subscribe. Helps the channel out tremendously. We really appreciate it. Anyhow, thanks again, and we will see you on the next one.